So what's up Freedom Foods family? This is Ryan and welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see, we have green grass in the background. We have green grass all around the farm. So today the cows are moving back out from the hay lot, call it hay lot, out to pasture. After this horrible drought that we've been in, they've been locked up eating hay for about a month. That way, uh, one, they need the hay because we were basically out of grass. And then two, we wanted to see what we could grow up. Thankfully, we got like a foot of rain during that time. And now it's time for them to go back doing what they're doing, grazing. So we got to get set up for it. Come along and we're moving cows out. We need you. I need you. A lot of you. You can't really see it, but I got the lane set up. And over here, this, uh, this coastal. This is a probably 18 inches tall, so they're going to have a field day on it. I almost think I made the paddock too big. It's only, you know, I'm only going to give them maybe a third of an acre. But I think they're going to go to town on this, and they might have to be here two days. I might have to adjust my paddock size for as long as this grass growth is, which is amazing. You already know. You guys already know, don't you? Am I going to even have to say it? So you have to put this, I have to open this gate and do... So you have to open this gate and put this along the side here, but they're all ready to, you guys are ready to go, aren't you? All right. I've been waiting a month to say this. And it's a month well worth doing. Hey, cows! Come on, cow cows, come on! Come on, cows! Here we go, look at them run. There we go, come on, cow cows, come on, let's go! Everybody's happy, come on, cows! Let's go, come on cow cows, come on. Come on cows, here they go. Here they go, uh oh, they're gonna take off running. Come on cow cows, come on. Look, everybody's, everybody wants to get on green grass. Look at this, everybody's happy. Look how excited they are. Yes, go tiger. There we go, come on cow cows, come on. The calves are happy, Betty's happy, everybody's happy. Let's go, come on cows. There's a ton of it, get out here, come on. Come on, cow cows, come on. Look, they're pushing and shoving. Let's go, come on, come on. There you go, llamas. You too. Come on, cow cows, come on. Look at this. I think, every no, not everybody's out. We gotta get the calves. Let's get the calves. What's up, Skywalker? Come on, guys, be smart. We gotta go this way. Come on, guys. Let's be smart, we gotta go. Come on, go. Come on, who is this? There's Frank. And Joe, come on, these two are buddies. Come on. Go. Go, 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 there we go. There we go, go. Get. 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 No, go out with go out with your mamas. Come on. There we go. Good boys. There we go. Look at that, they don't want to move. They're like, oh, we're going to take every bite we get. Because I've been teasing them for a month. Ellie, are you happy? I think so. I think so. I think everybody's happy. Everybody's grazing. Everybody's happy. Look at this. This is September, and this is the grass that we have in September. Heck yeah. See, every day that I'd come out here and give them water, give them hay, they'd be bellowing at me because they're mad because they see this right on the other side of the gate. But I had to explain to them. No, you can't have it yet. You can't have it just yet. You need to wait for it to look like this, and then you can have it. That way, the whole farm gets enough growth to where we're going to be able to sustain for the rest of the year, all hopefully deep into winter, and maybe have some stockpile. If we can graze like this, we might be able to have some stockpile to where we don't have to feed hay. And Nugget, we know you like grass. You don't like hay. You'll take hay, but you'd rather be on this delicious ice cream. And we're still waiting on a couple of our heifers to, to calf this year. So I'd much rather have them calf and produce milk on this than on hay. It's just gonna help the babies. So we got water, we got grass, and we have happy, happy, happy cows. Look at this, this is what they're moving on to. Look at that, look at all this this is fantastic this is great they're gonna be loving this and we're gonna produce really 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 good beef off of this i swear it's like june 
and August flipped. We got, I think we got zero rain in June. I have to go back and check, but I'm pretty sure we got zero, like goose egg rain. Not even .001, we got zero rain in June. And then August, we got a foot. I'll take it, I'll take it. But man, this, uh, this is actually getting me thinking. If uh, the grass grows back like this with a month worth of hay, any time in the summer that it starts to get a little bit thin, you know, there's that summer slump. This year it was, it was like, you know, it usually spring and then summer dips down and then pops back up for fall and then dips down for winter, right? This year it was spring, boom, just dropped off, okay? I think what I might do from this point going forward is that if it even starts to get bad, I'm gonna pull them off pasture and put them on hay. Let everything grow up because this is a lot, a lot of grass across the entire place. And see, the goal would be to pull them off to where we can extend our growing season or, or extend our, our grass into the, the winter when it goes dormant to where we have a stockpile that we can graze before we put them on hay. And then you get sites like this to where he's all kinds of happy. They're all, all of them are all kinds of happy on this very foggy September morning. But this is fantastic. I will take this all day long. You know, we're very, very lucky. Usually we get like almost no rain in August. We got a lot. I mean, legitimately a foot. We got legitimately a foot of rain. And we were able to capture it all. And we were able to turn that rain into grass. I know a lot of people around here still, they're, they didn't pull their cows off. They just keep letting them graze. They get like this much grass. They have more than they did it was dust and rocks uh, in beginning of August but I'm kind of treating this as like a second spring we got like I said very very lucky that the, the drought didn't continue all the way till winter even if it did I would have done the same thing and I think more grass would have grown up um, not as much as this but more than what was there just by pulling them off and letting what could grow grow back up and we're gonna see if my thinking is right if we pulled them off for a month maybe this gave us at least gave us 30 days of grass. It probably gave us 45 days of grass. It probably gave us maybe even 90 days of grass that grow, grew up while they were uh, while they were eating hay to let everything grow, let the rain come. So it put, it's putting us in a much, much, much better position to where I'm guessing, this is just a guess, we're looking at December-ish to go back on hay. So that saved us months of, you know, probably a month and a half, really. In the middle to end of October, all of November and now hopefully we'll see how far into December we get. I could be wrong, could be completely wrong, but I think that we might be able to graze till December, which would be huge. But I don't know what else to say other than I'm very, 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 very happy and that things are getting back to normal here after our terrible drought and things have just done a complete 180 and uh, we're, we're moving again, we're moving again.